Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Banished. We're a small hamlet to YouTube here, still tr trying to survive. And grow and thrive and something like that. Again, our goal is to reach 300 and 400 pops without, res without resorting to farming or schooling or anything fancy like that. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if we can get there. It should be fine. We're playing on the um, easiest map possible. More or less. So it should be fine. And then again, if it doesn't turn out to be fine, that's okay too, because there's another achievement that requires me to have 400 filled graves. And, uh, well, we're getting started. The graves do uh, sanitize over time, I believe, so... So you're gonna have to kill a lot, lot of people. But hey, well, once you get a town of like 500 people, and then you can just, I don't know, turn off all the food buildings. That's gonna fill the graves rather quickly. <laughs> so we have ways. We do have ways. With even a single mark, a single worker, the market is doing pretty good, actually. Uh, let's add a second vendor. Oh, looky there, the town hall is actually being built now. And we're gonna get statistics! Woohoo! Some lies and some statistics. You might even come up to consider getting a chapel. Just to make people happy. Chapel and a hospital. Then again, that would require quite a lot of things. No, we're gonna leave go with the food next, I think. More fisheries. Uh, three fisheries, I think, up this coast. And another hunter-gatherer outpost somewhere. Still have these houses to build too, so... Look at all these kids just waiting for houses. So I need to keep an eye on this demographics, because if we suddenly have no children whatsoever, then we have a problem. <laughs> there we go. We have a town hall, we can get statistics. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. How many is all that fun stuff? Production. Current used. You can see all production. Someone died of old age, finally. Uh, food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, current. Uh, yeah. Produced over there. Oh, never mind. Used. Okay, so we're actually producing more than we're using right now. Logs is the other way around. So we need more logs. I don't know what... It also claims you're using stone, but th that means this number actually includes productions. Or uh, buildings. Because I don't think there's any uh, manufacturing that requires stone. So it does include the buildings you plop down. Well, in that case, I'd, I was kind of worried about the log this situation, because uh, if we were that short of logs for firewood, we were, would be in trouble. Tools. Yeah, that's fine, because now we're using tools galore in these two structures. Uh, cloth, how are we doing there? Fairly balanced, actually. And your other materials. Yeah. Uh, let me take it to a fire range, please. Population is, well, sort of growing. We kind of stabilized there. Uh, food situation. We're actually making food now. Firewood. You can see the winters. But it's stabilizing. Herbs isn't really used yet. People haven't really gotten sick. Yeah, tool supply is dwindling fast. Um, was there anything else? 
Yeah, that's the other thing. We could suddenly get a population boost through the nomads. Could happen. And we could accept them. We don't have a boarding house though. We probably need a boarding house before we risk getting nomads. Um, yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna need some fisheries next. Hmm, probably here somewhere. And then another farm. I don't know. We're gonna have a bit of over you're gonna have a bit of overlap, which isn't good. But I think you'll survive. Might even get yeah, well we'll add a fourth fourth one. Up there. And then we need some roads to connect to all of these. There we go. Perfect. So do I have iron reserves in these woods that I haven't harvested? I think I do. Right. Or not. There was some iron all the way down there. And here. Yeah, let's just get that iron into into the fold. How are we doing on the herbs? That's medicine, I suppose. Yeah, that's gonna be fine then. We should probably get another um, lumberjack, another woodcutter up here. Oh, there, there we go. That was quick. More fishermen. And now I think I want to wait and see if we can actually stockpile a little bit of iron and uh, stone before we build further. I'd like to get all these roads cobblestoned. Just as we told the workers would speed up even further. But that would require a lot of stone. A lot of stone. Um, do you want to bridge over to this island? Could be more fishery resources over here, at the very least. Not so ideal for a uh, gathering area there, I suppose, but no. More fishers, uh, cut back on stone cutters. Go fish, folks, go fish. Grow. 
Stay with the dock, that's what they're gonna do. At least we have quite a few fisheries now. So if the food supply dwindles down again, we are gonna shift some pops away from the stone cutters and mines into the fisheries. It's good to have options. This also means that we can probably start building more houses once we get the resources and expand the population again. Children are being born, that's good. Uh, what about firewood? How are we doing there? Plenty of stored firewood. Plenty of stored medicine. Or herbs, rather. Yeah, we're gonna densify the area around the uh, market, build some more houses. Probably on the northern side next. Ten percent educated? Yeah, well that won't last. <laughs> the few people with, a, with an education are gonna die off. And we can't build a schoolhouse until we hit at least 300 people, so... So it's gonna take a while. Oh, there we go, we actually have some stockpiles now. Um, how wide are houses again? Yeah, okay, so I wouldn't have an even district number with the market. That's fine though, let's build a couple of houses. Up this way. And you're even gonna have the fa fancy, fancy path. It's kinda hard to see during winter. Where I put the cobblestones, but yeah, we're, I think the cobblestone paths are gonna be next. After the houses. Did we finish the uh, hut? No. It's not clearing out the area. And they're gonna be slow in doing this because they have to go all the way up there to, to work. And they ain't that quick. We have very few laborers right now, so... Need more slaves. or uh, serfs. People. Peasants. Jolly townsfolk. Looks so cold. But then again, we are playing on the mildest possible climate. Which is why people haven't been freezing to death galore. Normally it would be a problem because not only do they need to uh, return to their homes in order to get heat, but if they don't have proper clothing, they're gonna die and just <laughs> walking out into wherever they work. So yeah. You're still stockpiling the venison rather than the fish, huh? They don't like venison in this town. They really don't. Okay, so one more house there. I'm gonna have crossroads there. Lovely. And then you might as well build a road. 
Uh, where do we go? There we are. Might as well finish this road. Maybe it'll get help them get up here faster. Oh, you finished the forest at large. Excellent. Um, at least. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait, didn't I bet? Oh! No! <laughs> That's not what I meant to build there. Um, oops. Yes, remove structure. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Ah well. Whoops. Did not need to <laughs> build that up there. Ah. So who's going to come and tear that down then? I assume it's going to be the builders at some point. 9% demolished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still waiting for more stone. Oh, there we go. Miner was killed by a cave-in. What's bound to happen? Kids just waiting for a house. Oh dear. Here we have the grandparents of the town. Comes in on 80 years of age. Still working. No retirement in this town. You can retire when you die. Like that. Needs so much stone. Okay, at least this building was recycled. Okay, uh, d -d 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 resource production. Not the woodcutter. Forest is dodge. That's the one I wanted to build. So there. It come with winter again. Just a waiting game again. We need to wait. We need to get more stone. We can get more stones. We can get more people. So I can get more stones. So I can get more people. And the food supply is going down again. Oh dear. Uh, don't drop too far, would you, please? Two more fishermen. Try to stabilize the food. Of course, that is the problem. We're gonna get so many children now that they're yeah, gonna they're gonna eat up our stockpile. On the bright side, they do start working rather young, so they are gonna be productive as long as they don't starve or freeze. But I don't think that anyone's gonna freeze. By the looks of things, we have plenty of firewood to get through any winter at this point, so... That ain't gonna be a problem. Oh? Wait, are you telling me we actually hit cap on clothing? Oh! Cap is only 50. Uh, increase that to 200. And do the same with jewels. Herbs to four. 
plenty of storage space, so that's not going to be an issue. And of course the market as well increases the storage space quite a bit, since that takes on just about every resource there is. I'm not sure why it takes iron, though. Do you take iron simply because of the uh, blacksmith? I think you do. Interesting. I thought, that, thought the markets would only service uh, households, but apparently they service industries as well. Is that stone or is it iron? It's stone, I'm getting it. That is iron. Oh, that's fine, gather that too. If you're idle, go and gather it. Oh, and we're running very low on wood too. Well then. Um. Harvest this. Little cops. Trees there. Some trees there. Some of the trees here. Some of that. Some of that. Not very, it's gonna take a long time for the laborers to get to all that stuff. Because it's so far away from the, where they live, so they're gonna take a lot of time just walking out there. Mightn't even reach it in time. Still. Two more houses there. One more house to go. Then the forest is lodge. And the town hasn't had a catastrophic meltdown yet. And that's good. Fisherman. Need be. And we've hit the firewood limit again. That's fine. Not too worried about that. Much more worried about my food supply. Much more worried. soon enough, actually. 80% remaining, yeah, we're cutting away all the stone that it's in that, that little gap in the, the earth. I wonder if we could, like, it would have been cool if we could, like, dig through here and make a big fishing pond out of it. Make it something useful. Alas. You've gotten all the stone. I do think we need to start considering the stone upgrades for the roads. Yeah. A lot of stone. Mm 
but I do think it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna increase the speed of our workers quite a bit. And that's always good. It's also gonna give our builders something to do, I suppose. And let's just fill out the fishermen's. There we go. Then again, they aren't actually using them, are they? Let's see. Pots. Um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> they take shortcuts. In many cases, still. Still, it's fine. Can't expect them to, fo to follow through all the time. Okay, I'm gonna take a break there, I think, and we shall see if we can get enough stone to actually do things. It's gonna take a while. Thank you for watching.